Philippines gossip travels far. Uh, anything you say or do has far-reaching consequences. <laughs> it, it's a it's a bit of a goldfish bowl. I've talked about this before. There was um, an issue where we were basically going to move house, um, and we were looking for somewhere else to rent. And I spoke to a neighbour that worked at a local uh, vulcanizer. A vulcanizer guy that changes tyres. They don't have tyres; <laughs> they just change them. You have to get tyre from somewhere else. Anyway. I'd been to see this guy, he took me to meet his wife, his wife knew the guy opposite, they had these apartments, we looked at the apartments, um, following day my mother-in-law was there at 8am asking, you know, what's happening, why are we moving, because what had happened is one of the neighbours of the apartments we were looking at, they spoke to the guy that was renting the apartments, who knew um, my wife's cousin at the market and by the following day everybody already knew that we were moving house <laughs> that's how quick things move but also you got to remember people have got nothing else to do the most interesting thing in the area is what the expat gets up to because everybody else is just normal you know you're, you're the yeah, local amusement you're more entertained than the TV channels most of the time <laughs> So be aware that when you do something that everybody's going to find out about it, everybody's going to know about it. And even when you're discreet, people already know. Um, there was a case where a Canadian guy had come to Cebu to meet the love of his life, found out that she was cheating, etc. Then he went a bit off on the rails and was bringing different women back to where he was staying. Um, and I won't say what the name of the street was but they rephrased it to do with um, a sexual action because of the number of women this was getting this guy was bringing back it actually made a reputation of this small complex as being some sort of um, adult entertainment venue when the fact was it was just this guy going off the rails and going with any woman he could find but I mean he was only there for two weeks luckily enough but the the point being is be aware that that's a consequence of renting your apartments out that you can have that sort of thing happen it wasn't my apartments by the way but the um, the fact is even a year later people were still talking about that that's the whole point there's a very small bubble everybody knows everything um, because everyone just talks. The Philippines is very social in that aspect, good or bad. People talk. You'll get um, people come to the store. You know, we got a small store. We'll know pretty much everything in the area by the people coming to the store because they can't wait to tell somebody that doesn't know. So they'll come up and say, oh, did you know this? Because for them, it's like, oh, look, I know something you don't. And that's why it spreads like wildfire but it's also when somebody's doing something wrong they get found out quite quickly because there's been a few cases where there's been expats that have been frequenting um, girls under 19 that sort of thing um, they become very disliked locally um, because it's it's a it's a strange strange thing, because somebody was on about this the other day about the relationships where somebody was about ninety and somebody was about fifty. I can't see that myself. I can't envision that being uh, something I could find socially acceptable, because most Filipinos at that age are underdeveloped mentally they're in like the mental age of 15 16 year olds so I can't I can't envision that as being normal but if somebody was like 30 and 50 no issue with it whatsoever even though there's a 20 year gap it's just the fact that at 30 years old the woman's an adult at 25 she's an adult but when you've got that gap 19 to something it's you know I can't I, I can't 
see how that could actually function as a relationship. I know some guys have had, you know, been married for years with that sort of um, connection early on, but for myself personally, I can't get it. You know, if I meet a guy who's been with his wife and she's 28 now and he's 60 something, I have no issue with it because if they were, it's all to do with maturity. Let's just put it that way. But anyway, you can become very disliked, especially if you're hot, um, hot swapping with girls at that sort of age because um, people don't like it. But also, don't assume nobody notices. Although you go down the street every day or whatever, there are, everybody knows what you're doing. Everybody knows what's going on. They see what time she goes. They know where she lives. Everything. Because everybody's interconnected, so entwined. Um, I can't really say more than that. It's just be aware. Gossip goes for miles in the Philippines. People live on islands, and islands are very small. <laughs> right, thanks for watching.